Friendly Neighborhood Gamer here and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be talking about Primal Cuts and how to get the most out of this event. Now for those of you who didn't know, Primal Cuts has been in Fallout 76 before and the last time we saw it was last year. Now before I get into more details about this event, let's try and get at least 25 to 30 likes on this video. Other than that, let's get straight into the video. The Primal Cuts event happens about every 15 minutes around different spots of the map. Now what you have to do at these events is hold off for four waves of prime enemies. Each wave gets a little bit harder and harder. It contains three waves of several enemies and then one last wave, the fourth wave, a creature spawns but it depends on what region you are in. I'm in Ash Heap so I will get a Sheep Squatch. Once you kill that enemy, then you will be rewarded with Primal Cuts, which you will use at Graham's Meat Cookout, which is another event that you can trade the Primal Cuts in for Legendary Script. Each piece of Primal Cut you get is equal to one script. Now if you notice, not all of these events are equal. The harder the location, the more Primal Cut you will get. Now this is a great way to farm Legendary Weapons and XP. Now collecting all these primal cuts leads up to the main event, which is Graham's Meat Cook, which starts every hour. And I'll show you here where it is on the map. It is very close to Vault 76. Now once you are here, it will usually give you a minute or two before you start. I was a little late to this one, so it had already started, but usually you have to wait at least a minute or two before it starts. Once you are here, you can actually buy very rare plans from Graham, so it's a great opportunity to do that. This is also where you will trade your prime cuts in for script, as you can see. Keep in mind that you can only get up to 15 script per hour, so once the hour resets, then you can get another 15. So technically you can farm as much script as you want, but it is a time-consuming method. What you also have to do to complete this event is fill the progress bar by doing activities around the camp. These activities include spinning meat skewers, playing instruments, picking up poop, putting out fires, picking up bones, contributing to prime meat, contributing meat chunks, and contributing greens, contributing Chally's greens, and contributing wood. Then once you're done picking up after Graham's lazy ass, once you fill the bar to about 50%, the event will be completed. Now I definitely recommend that you do this with people because it is very hard solo as you can see in the video. Completing this event as much as possible will give you some awesome rewards. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I hope this gave you an insight on what to expect while doing this event, and other than that we will see you next video.